The story of Commander Ian Forbes is a story of survival against the odds. Anyone who has ever seen the British sitcom Only Fools and Horses is aware of Uncle Albert, who served in the Merchant Navy during the Second World War and managed to sink or was sunk on every ship on which he sailed. Just like Uncle Albert from Only Fools and Horses, Ian Forbes went down with almost every ship that he served on. Born in 1919, Forbes entered the ranks of the Royal Navy in 1938. By the outbreak of war in September 1939, Forbes was a sub-lieutenant aboard the sloop HMS Britain, which was conducting escort duties for convoys. On the 9th of April 1940, German forces invaded Denmark and Norway. In response to the German invasion, the Royal Navy sent a task force to engage the Kriegsmarine and to help disrupt the invasion. HMS Britain was one of the ships that was dispatched to provide assistance to the Norwegians. Whilst operating off Namsos, defending Allied troop convoys, entering and leaving the harbour against the U-boat attack, on the 30th of April, Britain was sighted by and came under attack by a staff of the Luftwaffe's infamous dive bombers, the JU-87 Stuka. Hit in the stern and severely damaged, the order was given to abandon ship. While destroyers went alongside the sloop and pulled off some of her crew, others, including Forbes, jumped into the water from where they were plucked by the destroyer Janus, which then proceeded to scuttle Britain with torpedoes. Promoted to the rank of Lieutenant, Forbes's next posting was to the King George V class battleship HMS Prince of Wales. It was aboard HMS Prince of Wales that Forbes and his shipmates, in company with the battlecruiser HMS Hood, set sail for the Denmark Strait in May 1941. On the morning of the 24th of May, Hood and the Prince of Wales engaged the German battleship Bismarck and the heavy cruiser Prince Eugen. Hood opened fire at Bismarck at 05.52, followed by Prince of Wales 30 seconds later. At 0600, the fifth salvo from the Bismarck landed, striking the Hood in a 4-inch magazine, which detonated and in turn set off the 15-inch magazine, which tore the ship apart. Hood promptly sank with a catastrophic loss of life, leaving only three survivors behind in the water. Following the sinking of the Hood, the Bismarck and Prince Eugen began to target the Prince of Wales. Following the sinking of the Hood, Bismarck and Prince Eugen began to target the Prince of Wales. Struck by four 15-inch shells and four 8-inch shells, Captain John Leach, commanding officer of the Prince of Wales, elected to break off the engagement, lest the battleship suffer the same fate as the Hood. Having survived the engagement with the Bismarck, in August 1941, Prince of Wales carried Winston Churchill across the Atlantic to meet with President Franklin Roosevelt in Placenta Bay, Newfoundland. In December 1941, Prince of Wales, accompanied by the battlecruiser Repulse, arrived in Singapore to act as a deterrent against Japanese aggression and expansion. On the 8th of December 1941, Japanese forces bombed Singapore and launched an invasion of Malaya, bringing about war between the British Empire and Japan. In an attempt to locate and attack the Japanese invasion convoys, on the 8th of December, Prince of Wales and Repulse put to sea with an escort of destroyers. The following day, the British ships were sighted by Japanese aircraft and submarines, which reported their position and commenced shadowing. At quarter past 11 on the 10th of December, having regained contact with the British ships, which was lost during the course of the night, Japanese bombers and torpedo bombers commenced their attacks on the two ships, which resulted in the crippling and sinking of both vessels. During the attack, 327 British sailors, including Admiral Tom Phillips, the commander of the Far East Fleet, as well as Captain Leach, were killed. Lieutenant Forbes succeeded in abandoning the Prince of Wales and managed to scramble into a rubber dinghy before being picked up by a British destroyer and taken back to Singapore. On the 13th of February 1942, Forbes found himself aboard the last ship to depart Singapore, HMS Grasshopper. HMS Grasshopper was a river gunboat which was evacuating British personnel from the strategic base in the face of the Japanese advance. Two days following the departure of HMS Grasshopper, Singapore surrendered to the Japanese. The morning following her departure from Singapore, Grasshopper was subjected to attack by Japanese bombers, a hit from which crippled the vessel before she was attacked by a swarm of Japanese fighters. Grasshopper was beached at Linga Island, located in the South China Sea. Many of the men aboard the gunboat survived the initial attacks and the beaching only to be cut down on the beach and in the water by the strafing Japanese aircraft. From this ordeal, Forbes was one of 34 survivors. In the company of a Malay sailor, 
He swam to a neighbouring island in search of help. Upon meeting Forbes, the inhabitants of the island at first appeared to have wanted to kill him. The Malay sailor, however, intervened and saved Forbes' life through changing the minds of the natives who became inclined to help the British sailors. Making it off the island, Forbes eventually joined HMS Stronghold, aboard which he took part in the disastrous Java Sea campaign, in which 2,300 Allied sailors were killed. Stronghold was assigned to undertake anti-submarine patrols off the coast of central Java. Putting to sea on the 1st of March, she provided cover to the Dutch evacuation ship Zandam, which set course for Fremantle, while the destroyer set course for Onslow, Western Australia. Unable to refuel in central Java, Stronghold ran short of fuel and was forced to sail at an economical speed of between 12 and 15 knots. Sighted by a Japanese reconnaissance aircraft at U900 on the 2nd of March, when 300 miles south of Bali, she was intercepted by vessels of the Imperial Japanese Navy. At 5 past 5 that evening, Japanese vessels, including the heavy cruisers Maya, Otago and Tako, and the destroyers Arashi and Noaki, opened fire against the British destroyer. Stronghold returned fire, but was both heavily outnumbered and outgunned. Sustaining heavy damage in the forward mess and in the engine room, Narashi and Nawaki closed in and conducted torpedo attacks which crippled the ship. Lieutenant Commander Robert Prechter Pinney, Stronghold's commanding officer, subsequently gave the order to abandon ship. Relying on Carly floats, as the ship's lifeboats had been destroyed in the battle, the crew escaped into the water before the destroyer sank. Abandoning ship once more, Forbes made his way onto a carly float from where he watched the ship slip beneath the waves. Those who managed to abandon ship drifted for three days in the open sea. On the 5th of March, the 50 survivors were rescued by a Dutch steamer with a Japanese crew. The men were subsequently transferred from the steamer to a Japanese cruiser and interred as prisoners of war. In all, nine officers and 61 ratings were lost with HMS Stronghold. Forbes would subsequently spend the next three and a half years in a Japanese prisoner of war camp in which he was regularly beaten and tortured. Immediately after the war, and now Commander Forbes was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for great courage displayed on his two previous ships. Ian Forbes died in 1992 at the age of 73. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more updates, like and share. You can also help to support the channel at Patreon. Details are in the description box below.